What makes the perfect striker in Football Manager? Let's find out. The most obvious thing, of course, is giving them 200 potential ability, which, of course, we have done. But it's never going to be quite that simple when I'm doing football manager science. So the triplets are back. Huey, Dewey and Louie. And they are going to be the three extremes of what a striker can be. We've got the big boy, the quick guy and Mr. Skillful. Um, so firstly, Dewey is our big guy. Dewey is six foot six and has all of the best attributes for a target forward in Football Manager. Because those attributes are maxed out, the stuff that helps with the other types of striker, things like, I don't know, pace, stamina, they're really, really low. And just like his uh, his brothers, he is going to be starting off out on a free transfer, age 15, with a current ability of 85 and a potential ability of 200. Let's look at his brothers. Huey is the quick guy, the advanced forward. Because of that, he's very little because he only has a jumping reach of one because as the quick guy, he doesn't need to be able to do what the big guy, big guy can do. You might notice that his attribute numbers are actually lower than Dewey's. The reason for that is advanced forwards have a lot of the skills that kind of count double. The way your attributes add up, it's very complicated, but the way the attributes add up to current ability each different attribute has a different multiplier within that. It's not as simple as just adding them all up. Not every attribute is equal. And the ones that are good for the advance forward tend to be the ones that get a heavier weighting. So although he also starts with an 85 current ability and a potential ability of 200, his actual individual positional attributes are lower than they are for the big guy. But when he fulfills his potential, if he fulfills his potential, he is going to be maxed out in what I assume would be the key things for a striker. This is certainly what I look for. Basically, pace, acceleration, finishing, He's, he's going to be that guy. And then we've got the third option, Louis, who is based on a false nine. So like his, uh, like his brother Huey, the advanced forward, he doesn't need to worry about height and strength and physicality and that kind of thing. Um, he doesn't even need to have any pace, but he has the skills. He can certainly finish, but he can also pass. He's very creative. He's your, I mean, he is your false nine. And just to confirm, again, that we are all starting equal, 85 current ability, 200 potential ability. They're all born on the same day. They're all free transfers. They're all 15. And as you can see, they're all wanted by a lot of football clubs. And we are going to simulate their careers and see which one ends up as the perfect striker. They all have the potential to max out at 200 current ability and become the best player in the history of the universe. But if they all do... Which role is going to end up being the best one? Let me know down in the comments section below who you think is going to have the best career. Don't cheat. You could just go forward to the end of the video and find out, but don't cheat. Let me know who do you think is going to have the best career and why. Meanwhile, let's see who signs them. So a year in and they all do have clubs. You can see they're all now 16 years old and they're all uh, roughly similar kind of value. Interestingly, Louis, the false nine, has already learnt to play as an attacking midfielder as well. They all started with only being natural at centre forward and not being able to do any other positions at all. But Louis, who's been signed by Manchester City, has already become accomplished as an attacking midfielder, which does suit his attributes. He is a natural false False nine, support striker, creative striker. So you would expect attacking midfield to be another position that he's capable of playing. The problem with this when it comes to his development is if you're splitting your development across multiple positions, it does mean that the individual attributes don't necessarily develop as far. So I think he's actually regressed slightly in, uh, I think they were 17s previously. Has he improved as a player? See, he's gone from an 85 to a 92, but I think some of the actual individual attributes have dropped down, while some others have started to increase as well. He's starting to become a more balanced, more well-rounded player. He's also been capped by England at under 19 level. Um, has he played any football? He's not played any first team football, but did play 48 times for the Man City youth team, scoring 19 goals, getting eight assists 
on a 6.85. So he's definitely had the biggest move of the three. £220 a week he's earning. Um, I guess your next biggest move would be Dewey, who's gone to Tottenham and is currently away on international duty. So also been capped at under 19 levels. Still just an out and out striker. Um, and as you can see, his attributes are very, very high. For a six foot six target man, you would expect this guy to be ready to start scoring goals immediately. That's interesting. So he didn't sign for Tottenham straight away. He actually went to Coventry where he played 18 games, scored seven goals, and Spurs have just spent £4.6 million on him. So he didn't get the biggest deal straight away, but has immediately then moved on to Spurs and is currently away with the England under-19s um, international squad along with Huey. So it's only Huey and Dewey who've made it into the under-19s European Championship squad. Louis has been left behind. So Louis, the one at Manchester City, the fancy false nine. Not making it through. What's uh, what's Dewey's uh, current ability looking like? So he's made it to 93. So I think it's 92, 93 at the moment. And lastly, we have Huey, who's at Everton, also away with the England under-19s. He's now an inch taller than his creative little brother. Um, he signed straight away for Everton and 57 appearances, 39 goals and a 7.04. So scoring more goals at youth level than the other two. But getting a better average rating the other two, and he has moved on much faster than the other two as well. He's got a current ability of 101. So straight away, Huey, the advanced forward, has taken an early lead, and a year in, looks like advanced forward is better than target forward and false nine. Who knew? Who knew? Is that, are we just going to prove what we already knew with this video? So we have now gone on two more years. They're all now 18 and they're all still at the clubs they were at previously. So if we go through them in the same order again, Louis, the false nine at Manchester City, as well as being a natural striker and an accomplished attacking midfielder he is now an awkward left winger as well he is a right footer still only five foot three so he never got any taller but does look like his attributes have started to move on he's had a year out on loan in league one as well for Huddersfield 33 appearances only 17 of them starts just the seven goals and four assists though he hasn't exactly been uh tearing league one apart as he but I guess he was doing that as a 17 year old He's uh, his own. Oh no, he's about to turn. He's about to turn nineteen. So he's doing that as an eighteen-year-old. One hundred and twenty-eight current ability means I would have expected him to do better than he did at Huddersfield. It could just be that a five-foot-three false nine maybe isn't suited to playing League One football, and that might end up holding him back. But even if it does, he's obviously at the right place being at Manchester City. If he's ever going to thrive with that kind of profile, it's going to be there. He's also got three caps for England's under twenty-one team, um, but it looks like he's not the one who's currently a away with them. Oh, in fact, no, Dewey's away with the under-19s. So Louis has graduated to the under-21s. Dewey has been capped as far as under-20, but hasn't made it any further than that so far. Also, he's now an awkward left back, which for a six foot six right footer with tackling of five and pace of three is an interesting position. That very much screams We've got 10 players. We need an 11th. Is anyone else here? Yeah, fine. Just play there, Dewey. Um, but he did go away to the England under 19 Euros again. Um, has never played a game for Tottenham. Only started nine non-competitive games from last year as well, just scoring four goals. So he's actually not playing a lot of youth football even, which is interesting and is potentially going to start holding him back only 113 on his current ability now he is starting to be left behind by Dewey even and we all we know Huey previously was the one who'd pushed on further than anybody so Huey um, has also had a loan he's been loaned out to Derby in the championship and got 13 goals so looks like he was the starting striker most of the season at Derby started 37 games scoring 13 goals can also now play out on the right hand side as well. He's made it to the to the enormous stature of five foot five, and you can see his attributes are starting to even out a little bit. I mean, they're still miles away. He's got a strength of five. Bless his cotton socks. Um, but his current ability is up to one hundred and thirty one. So Huey definitely still winning at the moment, playing more football at a higher level. I am starting to worry about Dewey, who had the higher into uh, the higher original attributes. He's still got more ninety more 20s than any of the others but it just seems that they're less useful ones that the game 
seems less interested in using. I mean, if you put this guy in the right team, if you give me a six foot six striker with 19 jumping reach, 19 finishing, 19 heading, you give me that guy, he's scoring 50 goals a season. But um, it might be that the AI doesn't know how to use him properly which is a worry. Three more years have passed. They have now made it to 21 years old and Louis has got an injury. Um, he's torn his hamstring. He's also, they're all wanted as well, presumably wanted for loan. Um, yeah, so it looks like none of them have established themselves as starters, despite being 21-year-olds with 200 potential, which is interesting. Maybe specialists don't get the job done. Maybe that's what we're going to learn here. You need to be a little bit more well-rounded. So Louis has made it to five foot five and has played for England. He's made his England debut and scored on his England debut. So it is interesting that City have still got him on the loan list and it's Coventry who are interested in him. Um, he hasn't been out on loan since Huddersfield, but he has been in and around the Manchester City first team squad, making a couple of substitute appearances each season. Not loads. He's, he's, he's scored a couple of goals for Man City. They play him occasionally in the Cups, but he isn't really playing very much football at all at the moment. He needs that loan, I think. He's made it to 136 current ability, which feels like he hasn't moved on very far in the three years since we last met him because he's not playing enough football. He is going to struggle to get anywhere near that 200 potential if he doesn't start playing more football. I think it's absolutely crucial for Louis that he gets out on loan at a decent championship, maybe even Premier League level, this coming season. Dewey... The target forward at Tottenham has now also learnt to play defensive midfield. So he's an unconvincing left back, a makeshift defensive midfielder. He's not had an England cap, but has played at under 20. He's still not had an under 21 cap now. Um, but he has uh, he's played a couple of games for Spurs. Only three substitute appearances in his entire career is definitely going to be holding him back. If we have a look at how he's developing, 119 is... It's not a good sign for Dewey. We're going to need for him to become a late developer if he is uh, if he is going to have any chance of making it. Um, and then lastly, Huey, the one who I guess we all expected to be the best of the three based on advanced forwards being great. And he has played two times for England and scored two goals as well as playing loads of England under-21 caps, scoring almost a goal a game for the under-21s as well and is starting to make the breakthrough at Everton. It's interesting that he's been given his England debut and a second England appearance, despite in his career never starting a Premier League game. That is a thought process there by the England management for sure. Um, he is now up to 136, so just ahead of Louis the False Nine, um, but I would say well ahead in terms of uh, opportunity. Dewey, the target forward, definitely falling behind. He's just wishing he'd have come through in the 80s because in the 80s, He's a superstar. Modern football, less so. I think just being slow, just being slow is really holding that guy back. So they're now 25, and if they were ever going to get anywhere near their potential, they would be pretty close to it now. And looking at the clubs they're playing for, I would suggest that isn't what has happened. Uh, Louis is at Crystal Palace, and I think he's on loan at Crystal Palace and he's joining them permanently. Um, so he presumably stayed at Manchester City. He stayed as a kind of fringe player at Manchester City into his uh, into his mid-twenties. Phil Foden be warned, although I guess he's playing a little bit more often these days. So edit that out. Get that gone. Don't want to look silly. Um, but he has gone to Crystal Palace on loan and... I mean, played fine. He's largely coming off the bench. He's joining them permanently. Presumably on a free transfer at the end of his contract? Or uh, no, mandatory future fee of £12.5 million. He's now played three times for England, scored two goals, and has made it to 138 current ability. He is getting nowhere near his potential, and I don't really know why. Based on the other experiments we've done with Wonder Kids, he's at Manchester City, so has access to the training facilities. He's got 20 determination. He's got the 200 potential. He just didn't play enough football. He, For whatever reason, he has just not developed into the player we all hoped and dreamed he would be, even though he's played a couple of times for England, so he's probably pretty happy with how his career is turning out. Dewey, less so. So Dewey is back at Coventry. 
which is really interesting. So joined Coventry on a free transfer right at the start. How different his career might have been if he'd have just stayed there. Went to Spurs for six million. They never really used him. Loaned him out to Fulham. Loaned him out to Coventry. Then Coventry bought him for 195000 And he is now playing regularly for Coventry. Started 35 games last season. Only scoring six goals in the championship though. And Coventry were relegated down to League One. I would expect Dewey in League One to score absolutely tons of goals. He's six foot six. You can't teach that. And uh, he's made it to 131 current ability. He should be a standout player in League One. He's played over 100 games for Coventry now. Again, he's got absolutely nowhere near his potential, and I don't know why. Um, did Huey. Huey is still at Everton. He's played five times for England, scored three goals. The fact he only played five England games at 25 suggests he's not a superstar, although he is wanted by Manchester City. So that might be all about to change. He got another loan, went out on loan to Hull and scored a load of goals in the championship, has then gone back to Everton and has still struggled to establish himself. Two starts, four starts, four starts. He's not really getting in the Everton team, which is interesting. And it's really interesting that Man City are interested in buying him when he's 25 years old and can't get in Everton's team. Attribute-wise, he looks like everything you would want from a striker. He's up to 149 on current ability. Even his heading, which started at one, has made it to a nine now. So even the things that he was pretty weak at, he's getting better at. Weirdly, his passing seems to have massively regressed because we would have given him good passing from the start. I think. I'm sure we would have given him good passing. Um, but he's not quite scoring the goals I thought he would score. I don't think any of them are going to, going to become superstars, are they? Five more years, they're now all 30 years old. And you know what? Maybe Huey did become a superstar because look at his transfer value. We'll come to him in a minute. We'll go through them in our now established order, starting with Louis, who is at Crystal Palace still, but on the trans... Oh, no, he's on loan at Crystal Palace. Huh? Oh, no, he's on loan at Villa. From Crystal Palace. He's on the he's on the transfer list at Palace. So he did join Palace permanently, ended up being a fringe player. It's all they've any of them have ever been, fringe players. He finally had a season where he was starting regularly for Palace when he was 28 years old and did score eight goals, but he's never, never been able to put in a decent average rating. Had that one season where he was a starter for Palace and then dropped back down to being a bench player again and has now gone on loan to Aston Villa for the second half of the season and he's just sitting on their bench. Palace have him on their transfer list. He's just never really made it, has he? 143 as current ability suggests he should be a decent Premier League player, but he just never got to his potential Never really got a chance. Never really started a lot of football matches. 198 appearances in his career. I would suggest maybe 50 of them were starts, which is no way to develop a player with 200 potential. Uh, Dewey is at Portsmouth. He can now play in on right midfield as well. I don't understand why anyone would play him anywhere other than centre forward. If they're going to put him anywhere else, put him at centre back. I know he can't tackle, but he's six foot six and he's the greatest header of a football in history. Um, so he did, I, in fact, he didn't get to tear it up for Coventry in League One because upon Coventry's relegation, they sold him to Sunderland for 10 and a half million. This boy has not learned from the mistake he made the first time when he left Coventry for big money because he leaves Coventry again for big money, goes to Sunderland, doesn't start a single match in that first season at Sunderland as they get promoted to the Premier League. And then once again, he's on the fringes. He could have been a superstar at League One level and really turned his career around. But as it is, he went to Sunderland and in two and a half years started one football match before they've sold him on to Portsmouth in the Championship, who again... They're not starting him. Why are clubs not starting these players? I don't understand why they're not getting starts. What is going on? 128 on his current ability. He's another one who's played 245 games in his career. Maybe 70 or 80 of them are starts. I don't get it. Uh, Huey. 
Huey has played eight times for England, scored seven goals. Why he's only played eight times for England when he scores pretty much every time he plays for England, I don't know. Um, he's still at Everton, but wanted by lots of Saudi clubs now. So I guess he's about to get his really big money move, despite earning £215,000 a week at Everton. And I guess he did turn into a pretty decent Premier League striker in the end. Scored 11 goals that year, still only started 16 games. Got 12 goals that year, only started seven games. It's the same story for all three of them even now he's started five games started nine games they're not starting and he's a goal scorer I mean he has been I mean look at look at that international record I don't know I don't know what Everton are thinking he made it to 153 current ability in the end um, played 210 games for Everton and scored 51 goals it absolutely doesn't tell the story because so few of those games for Everton have been starts he has spent his whole career there, apart from these few loans out. But good luck in Saudi. None of none of them have become superstars. Right, we've got a couple of years on. We're going to slow things down again from here just to make sure we catch them all as they end their careers. So at 32 years old, uh, Louis has ended up at Nottingham Forest. He's now accomplished on the left wing as well as attacking midfield and is... Still not starting football matches at Forest, despite the fact he started nine games, scored nine goals, started six games, scored eight goals. These players should be starting, and I don't know what I have to do to force the game into starting them in football matches. It is absolute insanity. Um, 136 is as far as Louis has made it, and he's now on the decline. Uh, Dewey, the target forward at six foot six, still at Portsmouth, uh, still not starting, still just coming off the bench and occasionally scoring a goal. Only scored 28 goals in his career. I promise you, if I had this guy... Age, age 15, he gets more than 28 goals in that first season. Absolutely not been used properly at all. Only down, he's down to 126 on his ability now. And then Huey never played again for England, still at Everton. So didn't get his big move to Saudi. Played a couple more years at Everton. But they actually started him 20 times and he got 10 goals. And then back to starting him eight times and he scores eight goals. If you start him, he will score. 148 current ability, so they're all declining now. Um, and I think it's pretty clear that being an absolute specialist like this doesn't lead to a great career. You do need to have a little bit more balance to you. However, I think it's also pretty clear that Huey has had the best career of the three. Um, he's played 352 games, scored over 100 goals, got eight caps for England, seven goals for England. That's definitely a better career than the other two. So we're leaning more towards the advanced forward attributes being the most important ones. The the ones that are different from the other positions, I guess, are it's pace. Pace is very important. Pace is uh, is what he had as an edge over the other two. Um, the other two didn't have any pace at all, really, and it definitely has held them back. Uh, second place, I guess, goes to Louis, who, as you can see, never really developed that pace as his career has gone on. Um, but he did end up... 262 appearances, 53 goals, has played in the Premier League his entire career. Outside of that loan at Huddersfield, he has been a, a solid Premier League player who's played several hundred games in the Premier League, scored a couple of goals for England. I mean, he's he's his career has been fine, but not great. How different might his career have been if he just had the pace that his uh, that his brother had? And then Dewey. I mean, target men. Someone told me target men work really well in FM24. I guess that only applies if you're in control of them and you use them right, because he's actually played more games than the other two, 307 games, but the vast majority of it at championship level and still only managed to score 28 goals. Never played even for the England under 21s. So you got to have pace, apparently. Pace is absolutely crucial. If you want to see me test out some other roles at striker or maybe some other positions, let me know which ones down in the comments section below. I deliberately left complete forward out of this one because I think it's probably safe to assume complete forward being the most balanced of the three or of the four would outperform these ones. I really wanted to focus in on those specialisms. Is it pace? Is it skill? Is it strength and height? 
it's pace. And I think I probably already knew that. And I think we've proved it there. Um, but let me know what else you'd like to see me test out down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.